Hey everybody, my name is Avalence and welcome to another one of my Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. Again, we are going to be covering an activity, which is what I've been putting a lot of out. If there's any activity you guys would specifically like to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get it out to you. This is actually one of my favorite activities because I do enjoy flying in the game quite a lot. If you guys haven't checked out my flight tutorial, feel free to do so. But this is drug running and air trafficking. Uh, basically what you're doing is this is only available to Trevor as of right now. I'm not sure if you can unlock this later on. I think this will be awesome to be able to do in multiplayer personally. But, you know, multiplayer is still about a week away. So we have that to look forward to. Now what you're going to do here is after you pick up an airfield, which you will do by uh, completing Trevor's main quest, you will end up with this airfield, this small uh, property. You can pick up a property and then I believe if it's up north, I'm not sure if you can do it out of the uh, downtown at the Los Santos International Airport. I'm assuming, you know, arms trafficking is probably a little more difficult downtown, but uh, you can actually use this plane to drop off arms and drug packages to various people around. So the way this process works is you're going to get in the dune buggy, which I do not have in this video, but uh, the dune buggy will allow you to do trafficking as well. You're going to pick up packages that have come across the border, whether they are drugs or arms, and then you are going to use your plane to go ahead and deliver these packages to various areas who need them. Uh, the two places we're going to hit here is just some farmhouse off to the uh, I believe it's the northeast of the map and then we're also going to hit some occultist place uh, I haven't been there personally but I know there's an achievement for actually dropping off a couple innocent civilians to this cult place so you know I guess uh, I guess everyone has their own their own way of survival in this cult just likes to take people in I've seen it it's kind of creepy uh, so maybe I'll do a video of that a little later down the road uh, but this is, you know, a pretty cut and dry process. So you're going to take off the plane. You're going to deliver the two packages. You're going to land the plane and profit. Now, based on the difficulty of the mission, you're going to net about seven to $10,000 every mission. Um, and they take about five, six minutes. As you guys are going to see here, this is a complete air trafficking mission we're doing right now. Uh, it's a little hard with uh, the other characters, the flying. You know, if you guys watch my flight tutorial, you know that Trevor is the one best suited for this. And he's the only one I've done this with. So I don't know if you can do it with other characters. If you can, please feel free to confirm that for me in the comments. I would appreciate it. Um, but all you're going to do is go to the targets marked on your radar. Uh, they will be marked with a flare so you can see them easier. Uh, the flare is extremely powerful. It's more like 18 bajillion yellow smoke grenades. But, you know, uh, I guess that's just how it works in Los Santos. <laughs> so when you're over there, you are going to drop the package in the area for a successful delivery. This area is marked by a yellow circle, which encases the area that you're going to drop the package off on. So after doing that, uh, the package will be delivered successfully, and then you grant your cash. So it's very, very easy to do this. Uh, if your flying skills good enough, right? <laughs> I, I enjoy this. It's actually one of the most profitable ways to make a couple quick bucks early on in the game. Um, and if you enjoy flying, you know, it's, it's a way to kind of make a little bit of profit for yourself on uh, the flight simulator, I suppose. Uh, the flying in this game, again, is actually quite good. I am still just amazed by how well it handles and how simple it is, but yet, you know, detailed enough to make it interesting. Uh, now, if you guys haven't checked out my flight tutorial, like I said earlier in the video, please feel free to go ahead and check it out. I mean, this game is gorgeous. Flying in this game is amazing. And after you get the hang of it and put a couple things down, uh, you know, kind of spend some time in the flight school, it's actually quite enjoyable to go ahead and go through. But anyway, uh, that's kind of it for the drug trafficking guys. I mean, the only other thing that I could throw in here, but I rather, I, I guess I not rather, but I didn't because I didn't get footage of it, is um, you can also do this via the ground, and these missions are the same. Uh, now these missions uh, are going to involve you on a dune buggy. You're going to be fighting other drug traffickers and arms dealers, and all that's going to happen is one of the planes is going to drop a package for you, and you're going to go to the location and retrieve the package before the other arms dealers do or the other drug dealers do and then bring it back to the airfield to add it to TP Industries personal stash and that's kind of the gist of it so you know that's that's about it there's really not much to say about it <laughs> All the stuff with Grand Theft Auto has just been really cool. I, I regret not being able to spend more time with this game. I'm going to spend some time with it this weekend because uh, we have multiplayer, which comes out next Tuesday. So if you guys are interested in some multiplayer stuff, please stay tuned to this. You guys will love it, and uh, I'm going to be bringing out a lot of stuff. I have a group of guys together. We're going to be playing some multiplayer and figuring it out and kind of testing it to its limits. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like. 
toss us a comment, tell me what you thought about it, or if you've done drug trafficking or know any of the answers to the questions I propose in this video, uh, feel free to answer them for me. I would appreciate it. And also feel free to subscribe to this channel for more GTA 5 stuff, specifically GTA 5 Online stuff. Really excited about that. Uh, also, if you guys have any GTA videos that you are interested in seeing from me or hearing me talk about, please feel free to leave it in the comments below, and I will do my best to make it happen. Guys, thank you very much. I have a few more GTA videos coming out this week before online hits, and uh, I think we're going to kick it off with hunting later this week. So, hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thank you very much for watching, and, uh, you know, not that I'm endorsing this in real life, but in GTA, go, uh, go air traffic some arms. There are some drugs. Or something like that. Be your own Heisenberg. I heard Breaking Bad's over now, so you know, uh, you, you can't get your get your need out of the show. So why not traffic drugs and arms uh, in GTA 5? I think that's I think that's a very good alternative. Also, learn how to park your plane because I clearly don't know how to do it in this video. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody.